Hey there toy fans, Colin here again with a brand new LEGO review and today we've got this beautiful LEGO pickup truck. It is a wonderful rendition of the classic pickup truck that I'm sure all of you see in down south, out in the country style uh, fields. This is definitely a great embodiment of that aesthetic, super duper nice truck. A great pickup truck from them and they even come with a whole bunch of little mini scale figurines to help you accommodate for any season's decorations as well as some gardening cans, a nice little farm stand post here, and there's a whole lot of customizable stickers you can choose to use on this thing to get some labels on the sides of the doors as you can see in this picture right here. Tons and tons of creative elements to be explored throughout this whole thing. And of course you have a really huge bed in the back of the truck so that you can store all of these pieces in here right in the back. They fit perfectly in there all together, even that big wheelbarrow. It's a wonderfully designed set from Lego. Heck of a fun time to build and even cooler to have finally done in its full display. So talking about some of the details of this set here, this is 16,000 or oh, 16,000, 1,677 pieces, much more manageable. And um, that's a fair amount of pieces for a set like this. It's got a fully interior engine, a wonderful chassis on the bottom of the car, and all of these external details don't spare any expense so the pieces are going to be used worthy in here. They're going to be used very well. There's tons of cool details like the radiator on the front using the scythe kind of uh, sword style pieces to get that curved radiator grill. There's a lot of really cool details in here. Uh, let's get into it. Let me show you some of them. On the back here, you can see that it shows you all of the features that you can expect to see on the back here, which are, of course, the wreath you can mount on the front of the hood of the thing. There's a or Christmas present mounted on the seat with a little peg for you to put it on in as well and even these are completely removable. They're not even attached. They're just wonderfully slid in there, just completely resting, not attached. They're just slotted in there to look very, very nice. And they're removable if you want to get a little bit of a cleaner aesthetic. So putting this box down, we can see that this hood opens up. Let me take this Christmas wreath off the front here as well to get some more vision. If we open up this hood, we have a beautiful uh, full embodied engine on the front there. You can see hopefully there are some really cool details in there from the chain on the engine. You can even see belts as well. There are some super awesome details. The radiator in the front, very, very, very cool. And I'm actually forgetting, I'm holding it up with my hands right now. But if you look inside here, uh, there is actually up on the top of the hood, you can pull down a little uh, holder peg and hold, uh, you can pull down a little uh, hood holder right there, just from the roof. I forgot all about that, but there's a great little display feature for you there if you want to have this be an open hooded uh, feature. But by all means, the choice is yours. I think that's super cool that they have that in there. Typically, a lot of these hoods are held open simply by the friction of the hood being up, uh, like it was in, like, the, say, the, the Mustang set that I built a little while ago. But uh, in this set, I'm a huge fan of that classic hinge because that's the way it was with trucks like this back in the day, or even now days when trucks like this are out on the road. So getting into the interior here, I'll go ahead and remove the top piece right here, which is very easily sat on. Just carefully, hold on, maybe I should do it with two hands here. There we go. Uh, that's just easily sat on top right there. Um, not supposed to be removed for convertible. Uh, obviously it's a truck, you don't want a convertible truck, but it does let us see these awesome details in here. And let me tell you about what my favorite detail of the whole piece was, or the whole set was, is that this little chair in here. They did such a good job giving it that classic plump style chair. You can see the curvature in there. It even ingresses into the back like you could get your phone stuck in the in the corners of these cushions. I love the details on that. And the best part is when you're building it, you build it flat, almost like it's looking like this kind of. And then suddenly the hinge in the middle folds up for it to clasp perfectly into that seat and it's just so satisfying to put together. I love it. There's so many cool details on here. Of course you can expect the trunk in the back to open up. The steering wheel is even attached to the front wheels. You can see me moving them here and you can see me moving the steering wheel and those front wheels also reacting to it. Super cool uh, axle mechanism running through the engine right there. Very awesome. There's even a gear shifter under, if you look close, there's a, if you look close, there's a really long rod gear shifter running into the base of the uh, chassis, which I'll go ahead and show you the bottom here. Very, very detailed bottom. Got Lego base plates, of course, and all of the chassis mechanisms that you would expect to see. Your exhaust pipe on the back there, the axles running for the rods, super awesome drive shaft in the front there. Really, really nice. Uh, I think this set is so cool. It's a fantastic display piece and it has some functional, fun, uh, playable qualities as well, which is always a great addition to when these sets look so good. Uh, as well as that, I forgot to talk about the best part. The doors open. <laughs> of course, you can open those doors up any way we want 
and uh, they're beautiful, beautiful mechanisms so that you can see that as you open the door, it cleverly pulls itself in to ingress in the front there. Right there, that's very clever. So it's not just a hinge, but rather it's like a double jointed hinge to give you a really smooth opening and closing transition that I'm a pretty big fan of. Honestly, there were a lot of details in this set that I didn't expect. With it not being a Technic build, I really didn't expect there to be a whole bunch of functionality built in, but there absolutely is. A super fun play set, a super fun display set. I had a heck of a fun time building it, and I know you guys will too. Putting this roof back on here, I don't want to mess up, so I'm looking at it. But that's all I got to talk to you guys today about. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let me know if you get this set and enjoy building it as much as I did. It was a blast. All of these little micro scale figures, it is a super fun value to put together. There are so many different little, it's like it's like 10 sets in one, honestly, with all these little mini figures. You have so, all, you have so much time cut out for you here. You're going to enjoy it. I just know it. So take care, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. You can click over here to watch a random video from my channel or click over here to watch the most recent video from earlier this week. Thanks again. If you liked the video, make sure you please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.